Hi, this is Sandra Hart in Life Over 50 with Sandra. Today I want to talk about how you can get a little bit of hair, nail, and massage services on a budget. Maybe you already know, but when I, a few years ago when I lived in New York, I was asked by Florence Henderson, who is the co-host of a show on NBC called Later Today. It came right after the Today Show. I was asked if I would be willing to do a beauty on a budget segment. I said, sure, why not? It sounded like a lot of fun. So uh, the car picked me up in the morning and took me to my first stop, which was on 14th Street down above the village. And uh, I went to Vidal Sassoon. And there, one of the students who was just about to graduate gave me a beautiful haircut, shampoo, everything was just absolutely delightful in the salon itself. The next stop was to a beauty school where I had a lovely facial and a manicure by a student who also was just about to graduate. And one thing about having services done by a student, usually they are so precise, they're so careful because they really want to do a good job. They're just about ready to get their certificate and go out on their own, so they're especially careful about how they treat the client. The third stop and the last stop of the day was to the Swedish Massage School in New York. And there, also a graduate student who was just about to graduate gave me a marvelous massage, about 40 minutes, and it was just fantastic, and it was a good way for me to end the day. So through Florence Henderson and later today, I found out that there are places that you can go to get great services for maybe one third the cost. Now, no matter where you live, if you live in a small town, if you Google services like hair schools, uh, massage schools, beauty schools, I am sure you will be able to find something in your town where you can go and save a few pennies to spend your extra money on your grandchildren or maybe going out to dinner with your husband. I did some research on my own here and I found out that Paul Mitchell has several places throughout the country. Aveda also has several places where you can get facials and hair treatments. So check it out and, and find a place in your town. When I first moved to Florida, I didn't know where to get my hair cut, and I asked my next door neighbor, you know, gee, where can I go get my hair cut? I had curly hair then, you know, it's a little thinner now as it happens when you get older. And she said, listen, come with me. I go to the Vidal Sassoon School here in South Beach. And that reminded me of my experience in New York with later today. So I made an appointment, I went with her, and at this school, they don't have students that are getting their beauty degree. They already have their degrees. They came from all over the country, Canada and Europe, to come to the Vidal Sassoon in South Beach to learn the Sassoon way. So I was really getting excellent haircuts. When I first started out, they were free because you volunteered to be a model to have your hair done and now they're only about $18. So I can go to the salon, one side is the school and the other side is the salon, and for $18 I get the same services that people on the other side would get for 150 or more. Look in your town, you might be able to find some place, if you want to, to have your hair cut or to ha get a facial, a massage, all on a budget. The saddest part for me, this is a Vidal Sassoon haircut that I got about two weeks ago, but because they raised the rent here in South Beach, Vidal Sassoon is leaving. So it's very, very sad for me because I've been going to this school to get my hair cut for, I guess, about 15 years, and they have been here on the beach for 20 years. But they do have a, a school in Santa Monica. They have another school in Chicago, so if you live near any one of those two cities, just give them a call and make an appointment with one of their students to have your hair cut. There is nothing like saving a 
little bit of money when you're over 60 because you can use it for other things in your life. I'm so glad that you came to visit me today and come back and we'll have another conversation. You know, I, I am not always a teacher. I don't always show makeup or how to apply things. I will be doing some of that, but I'm more of a natural person. I don't really like heavy makeup. I never have. But I have a lot of interesting things to share. And if you don't mind just coming to these conversations once a week, I really enjoy having you. I love sharing my life experiences with you. And if you visit my blog, sandrasheart.com, you can make comments about the blog, but also make comments about this video, what you would like to see, and perhaps what I can share with you, and I can share your ideas too. So thank you so much for coming today, and I hope I see you next week. Have a great one, will you?